Some of our subscribers have been asking for tips to help them navigate the team's environment more effectively and with less clicking around. We've put together some videos from our new training series to help answer that call. In this video, we're going to focus on shortcuts and commands that will help you navigate the team's environment, as well as some tips to help you find the conversations, contacts, and content you need with speed and ease. Let's dive in! Commands and shortcuts can help you navigate teams and access content quickly, helping you to increase efficiency in the team's environment. Let's focus on some helpful shortcuts and commands. To access your saved conversation threads and posts, you can type forward slash saved in the command bar, and when you hit enter, your saved pane will open. Now you can select a save message to be brought to it. To quickly jump into a specific workspace or channel, type forward slash go to and press the tab key. Now type the name of the team's workspace or channel to be brought to it. You can also access this feature by using the keyboard command Ctrl G. To view your app mentions, type forward slash mention in the activity application view will open with the filter for app mentions already enabled, displaying only your recent app mentions. You can type forward slash unread to see all unread items from your activity feed as well. You can send a quick instant message chat to a user by typing the at symbol in the command bar and writing a colleague's name. When they're located in Teams, select tab or select them with your mouse. Now type the message and press enter when you're ready to send it. This allows you to send a message to a colleague without having to navigate to the chat application and away from your current view. When the user replies, you'll see a banner pop up. You can respond to them through this banner if needed. If you'd like, you can access a popped out chat with the user to access the complete instant message history with them. Type forward slash pop and hit the tab key. Now type the name of your colleague and select them from the list. Your instant message chat conversation will pop out for you to communicate with this colleague. To find documents you need quickly, type forward slash files and press enter to see a list of files that you've worked on recently in Teams. You can select a file from here to open it and continue working on it. Type forward slash find and hit tab. Enter the name of a channel or chat and hit tab again. Now type some keywords to find any conversation threads or messages that contain this keyword. You can select an entry from the pane to open it and review the conversation thread. It will not bring you to this item in the Teams workspace, however, you can reply from this screen to keep the conversation going. You can use keyboard shortcuts to jump to and access different applications on your navigation pane. Each position on the pane is assigned a number. For example, Activity View is currently in position number one. Chat is currently in position number two, Teams is in position number three, and so on. You can hold the control key and press the position number to open that application in Teams. This is going to allow you to move between these different applications quickly without having to use your mouse. No information is ever lost in Teams and it's always easy to access the content you need when you need it. To begin searching for content of any type in Teams, navigate to the search and command bar. Type in some keywords. The more keywords you enter, the more refined your initial search will be. As you're typing your keywords, some suggestions will start to populate in a dropdown right away. You can select one of these options if it's a match to what you're looking for. Once selected, you'll be brought right to that item within the Teams environment. If the item you're searching for did not appear in that dropdown, press Enter to begin your search and retrieve a full list of search results. To generate your list of search results, Teams is going to look at the document titles as well as the content within the body of those documents. 
Teams is going to generate a list of results and categorize them into three categories which you can access using these tabs here. The Messages tabs is going to show you results from your instant message chat conversations and your channel conversation threads. The People tab will show you results from your contacts. The Files tab will show you the documents and work items gathered from throughout your team's environment that match your keywords. Each tab has a secondary tier of filters to help you further refine your search. Let's take a closer look at these tab results and the second tier of filters. From the Messages tab, you can see the results found in conversations that you've had in the team's environment. Below the result, you can see if it was from a private one-on-one -on -one chat, a private group chat, or you can see if it was a public conversation thread and it will outline the workspace and channel they located this conversation thread in. These are the secondary tier options to filter your messages. Choose from and a field will appear. You can type the name of a colleague to refine the search to show only messages and conversations involving this user. Choose Type to manage where Teams looks for your results. You can search all written correspondences, just your instant message chats, or just your channel conversations. You can also choose more filters to input more specific details about the communication you're looking for. If you know the subject, you can type it here. If you recall a general date range from when this communication took place, use this drop-down to select it from the menu. You can also use these drop-down menus to input the workspace and a channel of where the communication was had. If you recall being at mentioned in this message, use this checkbox to refine your search. And if you're looking for an attachment, use this checkbox. Select Filter to run this search again with these filters in place. The People tab will display contact matches. You'll open this tab if you're looking to contact a specific person. You can click on this user to open their chat conversation or hover over their profile icon to access their information card and additional communication options. The Files tab will show you all work items that match your keyword search from throughout your team's environment. You can see the team's workspace that item was found in right below the document name. Your results are listed in order of relevance with the items Teams believes to be the best match at the top of the list. You can access the second tier of filters here. You can refine your search by looking for items from within a specific team. You can use this dropdown to isolate a specific file type, selecting that file type from the dropdown menu. You can also use this field to type the name of a colleague who has modified this document. Select Filter to run the search again with these filters in place. When you see the result that you're looking for, select it to be brought to the item directly. Here are three search tips to help you better refine your search from the search bar. Use quotations around a set of keywords to search for an exact match on that word or phrase. You can use the asterisks to get results for any words that match a prefix. For example, if you type STO asterisk, all results for all words that start with STO will appear. Use the minus sign to exclude a word or term from your search results in Teams. For example, if we search project and add minus yellow, no results for the Yellow Brick Road project will appear in our search results. We hope these tips and tricks help you navigate the Teams environment like a pro. We upload new content every Wednesday, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. At CCC, we did not get here alone, and neither should you.